What's happening guys? So today we're just gonna go through the snatch for you guys, nice and easy movement. So first of all, make sure you're not that snatch grip in the hips. If it's easy way, put that leg up to 90 degrees, making sure it's in the hips. If your arms bend, just put your hands out a little bit. Got Mikey on there just so you know, so he can move a little bit better. First thing we're gonna do, feet hip whip. All we're gonna do is dip, which is a slight bum back, making sure the knees don't come out of the toes. You are gonna jump and shrug. Nice and easy, do one more. Once you know you can do this, we're gonna add in a pull. When you jump, shrug and pull, go. Okay. When you jump, shrug and pull, elbows must come all the way to the ceiling, pointing up, make sure it's not coming behind, so it's a nice straight line. We never wanna see what Mikey just did there and pull him backwards, elbows nice and high at all times. Once you can nail this, we're gonna go dip and then bum back and allowing the bar to slide down the legs, just to the knee. Always keep in contact with our legs. If you notice, Mikey's shoulders are over the bar at all times. He is gonna slowly come up and then jump and shrug. Jump and shrug. <laughs> so it's okay. Slowly coming up, jump and shrug. Nice and easy. Once he's now that, jump, shrug and pull. Same again, making sure that bar stays close to the body and he's extending his legs, then his shoulders, then his arms. Once you can nail this, we're gonna go with drop snatch or drop pull snatch. So once you get to that pull position, say you're at the top of the pull, you are gonna pause for half a second then drop. Obviously, Mikey did it for a little bit longer, but it's for the sake of the video. So ideally, you come back down, come into that pull, half a second, drop. When you drop, ideally we wanna go into a squat stance position, but come into a quarter squat. Perfect. Then eventually, once you feel good, you will go into a full snatch if you have the mobility and the movement. What I wanna see is though, start off by landing as high as you can, and then slowly but surely, drop slower, slower after the sessions. This is ideally what we wanna see. Oh, we're done. So go three, do three snatches for me. Then he's come down to position three, making sure that he stays nice and close. Go down to position three. Coming all the way up, slowly, and then down to the bottom of the snatch. Make sure, just keep moving for me. Making sure he is extended all the way up, coming down underneath. If you struggle with mobility, you are gonna pause at the bottom. So you're gonna go all the way into that squat snatch, at the bottom of the squat, stay there, make sure you're stable, and then come up. We wanna make sure that the overhead squats, so just give me three overhead squats, Mikey, that this position looks exactly the same as when we do a full snatch. Give me two full snatches. So, we're just gonna quickly go through it again to make sure it's nice and easy. Just give me two reps from the hips, from the hip, jump shrug. First, jump shrug. Then, jump shrug pull. From position two at the knees, jump shrug. Jump, shrug, pull. It's okay. Jump, shrug, pull on the next one. Then we are gonna go into jump, shrug, pull, drop into a power, half a second. Just power snatch for me, it's okay. Jump, shrug, pull, power. Good, now do the same again with full speed in a half squat. And now in a full squat for me, from the hang. And then, once you feel like this is more comfortable, then you'll go to the full snatch from position three at the mid shins. Good. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. That's so tired. It's cardio. <laughs> what we want to make sure on all of the snatches is that chest stays over the bar, engage the lats. So really push those shoulders back up and down. So you come up, back, down with our shoulders at all times really helping keeping our chest up and engaging our back throughout the movement. Try and make sure your weight is in the middle of your feet and you're driving up as if you're gonna jump as high as you can. These are nice tips for the beginning of the snatch, breaking it down. I would still do this in a warm up, building up, even with a PVC pipe first. So what I suggest is go PVC pipe, then a training bar, then go through the full movement with a bar. What I wanna try and make sure is that Every session, try and make sure you go to the harder movement each time, but wait until you can dial in the technique. I hope these tips have helped for your snatches. Hopefully it works. Let me know how you get on. Put the comments below and let me know. That's it.